What is up, money fam? Today we'll be watching a video of Brave Wilderness. He gets stung by a ton of animals. You'll um or stung, bit, whatever, by a ton of animals. You'll know him as soon as you see him. And this one is being stung by a cow killer. So let's get right into it. I think the name is the Velvet Ant or something. Velvet Bee. So let's just get right into it. I'm Coyote Peterson. There he is. Now you've seen me stung by harvester ants. Fire ants mm -hmm. and scorpions. Yeah. But today. Oh, yeah, quick thing. I did not watch this. This is not like I watched it and then I'm reviewing it after. I never watched this before, so let's get into it. I'm moving a rung up on the insect sting pain index, yeah. and I'm going to be stung by the cow killer. Cow I'm killer. feeling that this wow. one is going Whoa. to hurt. Oh, boy. I don't like how they put it in the beginning because then you get like his screams and stuff. But I mean, I mean, they kind of have to, but okay. That's his cool intro. I like his intro. Okay. Breaking trail. Awesome intro. There's no question about it. The Wild West is rough and rugged. And whether you're talking about the rocky terrain, laced with spine covered plants, or its animals, most sorry, falls in there again. One time in his videos he ran right into a cactus, which was like funny but well, not funny. But I just wanted to say that. I don't know why. Definitely go subscribe to him, Brave Wilderness. Link in the description um of the video so you guys can watch it yourself if you want to. So let's get right back which into are it. With fangs and stingers, Arizona's Sonoran Desert is an adventure lovers playground. Mm-hmm. Sure, we all have our fears of being bitten by a rattlesnake when venturing off trail. Yeah. Or in my case, having a giant desert centipede run on my pant leg. But in actuality, I didn't watch that one either. The good news is that each and every one of these creatures does its best to avoid human interaction. Okay, However, that's good. Sometimes I didn't really you have know an that. accidental run in, and when you do, a bite or a sting can be incredibly painful. Yes. <sighs> yeah, he got me. He bit me. Sure. Yeah, he definitely bit Whoa, me. Whoa, what is this? When it comes to my line of work, the goal is to have an interaction so that I can show <laughs> you the effects of these encounters. This way, we can all learn why it's important Dude, to be in tune with our surroundings yeah, and why one. it's always best to admire animals from a safe distance. Velvet in, velvet in. Oh, oh finally. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like how they search for it as well. Yes, hold on. No, he's underneath the log. I just started to tip it. I saw he ran back. Hold on a second. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I saw him. Did you see it? He ducked that duck back in. Whoa. There it is, there it is. Oh, I thought they were all under there for some reason. Get him, get him, get him. Ah. Sorry, pausing again. If I'm looking over to that way, it's because the camera is over that way and I'm looking at the screen. That's why. Got him. <laughs> oh, you almost got into the crevice of that log. Wow, that is a good size one, too. Uh, but we got our velvet ant. There it is. Okay, cool. Well, tomorrow morning, I'm going to get stung. That. <laughs> That's the best thing bugger. to say. Cool. I'm going to get stung tomorrow by that. The velvet ant, which is actually a species of ground wasp and not an ant at all, claims a famous nickname, the cow killer. Ranked on the insect sting pain index as being the fourth most painful sting in the insect kingdom, rumor has it that the pain is so intense it can kill a cow. Kill you a maybe cow? Maybe thinking to yourself, Coyote, are you going to get stung? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm going to get stung by this today. Now, the insect sting pain index says that the intense pain will last for about 30 minutes. Uh, and the reason that I'm doing it is to work my way up to the bullet ant. If you want to see me stung by the bullet ant, kind of feel like I have to get stung by everything else leading up to that. I am not looking forward to 30 minutes of pain that's going to come from this insect. If you didn't know, he's working it up I know, so he can right? get to the bullet ant, which is again. supposedly the Coyote's highest about to enter the ranked strike pain. Zone. So he's but working his way up the ladder. So. When it comes to alligator it's bites, the, wow. pinches, or blood-sucking leeches, I saw the leeches I'm fine one. with that. That was insane. Too when much it comes blood. To stingers and venom, that's where even I get nervous. Now, the females do not have wings. The males do have wings, but what's interesting is that the males do not have stingers. Guess who does have a stinger? That's weird. That's right, the females. Imagine they've got a male. Here today. Now, one of the funny. most impressive things about this insect 
is the size of its stinger. In fact, it's about as long as the entire length of the abdomen. What I want to do now is use these little entomology forceps that's like to pick that long. the velvet ant up and show you guys That's insane. Just how big that's that a long stinger. stinger. You ready for this? That can get through a lot um, of skin. They are not. The velvet ant actually has a very, very durable exoskeleton, one of the toughest exoskeletons in the insect kingdom. So me picking her up with the forceps is not going to I get scared every single sort of time he lifts up that thing. Oh! Get in the way. Get in the way. I got it. I got it. Wow, look at that expert grab. He wasn't even looking. So if you're out there walking around barefoot and you step on one of these, you're not going to squish it. What's going to happen is it's going to spin around and then it's going to tuck its abdomen under and boom, you're going to get nailed with that giant stinger. Whoa. Well, I think at this it's juncture, so big. it is time for me to he wasn't getting. take a sting. Are you guys getting nervous? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I sure was. Now they say that this sting is painful enough to kill a cow. However, That's insane there are if no it does. reported cases of cows, or humans for that matter, ever dying from a velvet ant sting. Okay. This makes Tall me feel tales. a bit better, but you never know how your body will react to venom. So we always have an epinephrine pen on location, just in case That's I have smart. an allergic That's reaction smart. They at least to have the sting. That. All right, Mark's signaling me that it is time. Here we go. I'm about to be stung. I couldn't do this at all. Ant. One, he has a high pain tolerance, and two... Just knowing you're right, gonna get stung is insane to me. It's about that time. Yeah. How are we gonna pull this off? I see we have a. Wait, why do you grab it then? We have a GoPro, small camera right next to me. Pause it again. He he grabbed it so he can let it go into the thing again, so he can grab it again. Okay, that was that was a little oh, hey, weird. Chance. Chance over there. What's the game plan for this thing? Here? What's, what's that was game? funny. He grabbed it for well, no reason. Well, this is gonna go down one of two ways. What I'm gonna try first is to actually take this little glass, flip it upside down, get the ant to this end, and then place it down on top of my arm. This will isolate the ant on my skin, and I'm... Why do you need to grab it again? I'm so confused. Okay. ...hoping that as it tries to get away, it's just going to sting me. Now, if that doesn't work, I also have my pair of entomology forceps, and I'm actually going to pick up, hold the ant, place it on my arm, and let it sting me. Be or whatever. One way or another... I am definitely going to be stung by the velvet ant. <sighs> Here we go. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get the ant wow. up into that he part just of them. the glass. And then I'm going to spin this over onto my forearm. And ah, it's going to hurt. Luck, the it's ant is hurt. going to sting me. Here we go. Ready? Let's do it. I don't Here like this. Forth. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone Dung. with the velvet ant. One. Two. Here we go. Three. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. The waiting oh, game for right to do it. Oh, boy. I can see its abdomen kind of pumping. I'm nervous. Oh, oh, oh. My heart is going now. It just doesn't want to, it just wants to get out. It sting me. Biting at my skin, it's biting at the edge of the container, trying to get out. Ooh. Oh, and that's, not, that's actually kind of weird. It's not like even trying to bite. I mean, it's not even trying to sting. Going into my skin. I wonder if it's just gonna be like, eh, maybe I should just sting him. The uh, glass is actually starting to get a little foggy from the heat of my skin. So at this point, I think we're going to move to Plan B, which is holding the velvet ant with. The entomology forceps. I don't think it's going to sting me at this point. It's been in there for about two minutes, and so far wow, no sting. It didn't even it's just trying to, to get out. So I'm going to flip my arm upside that's down. A, that's not impressive, but it's like okay, we weird. I've One, never really two, seen okay. the uh, any of them not bite them. Uh, them. I'm extremely nervous, and my heart is racing. I actually think I do have to take a second just to get my heart rate to calm back down okay cut and go stop bro. no i'm kidding he's not stalling that's insane he could take okay. as long as he wanted to all right i could the never do this actually move forward with this is for me to hold the ant with the entomology forceps up against my skin and let it sting oh they must have like edited it together because it, it yeah, in on, the intro it thing it said that he flipped over the glass and then it stung him in the world of entomology when it comes to milking the venom of insects and arachnids, holding them with forceps is a guaranteed way to induce a sting. So I think we all know what's going to happen next. 
This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. Uh, my nerves are going this much for the velvet ants. I'm, I'm getting nervous, and I'm on the end of the screen. I'm not even close to like. Okay. I can't believe you're about to do this. That stinger is enormous. Yeah. Great yeah. thing to okay. say, dude. Let's before he tries to, okay. before he stings you. Yeah, it's gonna go right into my skin. Yeah, right say that before he goes and tries to do this. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna get really close for this. Oh Ready? man. Alright, let's do this again one more time for good measure. I'm Cody Peterson, <laughs> and I'm about to enter <laughs> the sting, sting zone. zone with the cow killer. Dude, it's ready? like the stinger's like humongous. No, I'm never ready. <laughs> I'm one, never ready. Two. Three. You good? Get your shot. Place it right down on my arm. Here we go, guys. Here we go. The one we've all been waiting for. Come Here we go. Shaking. Oh. And go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, it's sticking out. It's sticking out. It's ready to go. Wait. It didn't even get him, really. Okay, I didn't even here. see it get him. I didn't even really see it go in. Oh wow. Oh wow, okay. G give me a second. Oh my gosh. You alright? Oh yeah. What are you feeling? What is it feeling? Yeah. Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> he just does that. That guy's like, how are you doing? How are you feeling? And he's like on the ground. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super bad. Wow. I guess he got stung, cause he obviously got stung. Hold on, I gotta, gotta try to control my heart rate. Try to get a tight shot of it right there where the stinger when you see the, there's blood. Okay, try to get a shot so I can get a like walk around for a second. I'm right there. Right there, it's resting. I can feel it. It was like um, you could feel it go all the way under the skin, all the way in. I could feel it insert into my arm. Man, I could not see that from here. It looked like he just like poked him right. almost. Wow, okay. Okay. And now they say that the sting of the velvet ant will last for about 30 minutes. And I can tell you guys right now, this is the worst sting I've ever taken. Wow. There's no question about it. The worst sting he's ever taken. It is worse than a fire ant. He's taking a lot of stuff, it dude. It feels that like I'm getting stung over and over again that says a lot i can see the welt starting to form on my arm oh, oh man yeah there's a welt big time describe the pain is it, is it like a pulsating pain uh, stabbing the pain you? it's radiating it is radiating it feels like um you know if you get a charlie horse in your muscle and it like seizes up and then it's like doof, doof. oh that is powerful i can see why they call them cow killers uh, <laughs> oh, that is some intense pain right there. How long has it been? About seven minutes. Seven minutes. Now they say this, the pain from this lasts for about 30. Uh, about 23 minutes to go, guys. Um, 23 minutes to go. I could never do uh. this. Now, aside from working my way up to the bullet ant, the reason I was willing to take a sting from this insect was so that we could all see the effects of the venom. 25 minutes has gone by. Uh, my arm oh my. is still on fire. And what's crazy is that look at all the red blotching that's formed around the sting. There's the Man, stinger insertion crazy. point right there. And it is swollen and it is very tender. And you can see how red the entire radius is of the sting. I'm sweating. Uh, my goal was to do the best I could to describe the pain I was feeling. And it, it still hurts. It definitely still hurts, but not as bad as the initial uh, impact of the stinger. But what's interesting is that all around the sting is tingling, like these little tiny pincushion needles going tss, 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 tss. And as you can see, there's all these little red dots forming. And I'm assuming that is where the venom is spreading into my arm. 
Oh, wow. Well, I would say that this was definitely one very intense sting. Wow, the that cow killer strong. has earned its reputation as being one of the most powerful stings in the insect kingdom. Well, he doesn't even look like he got that. And while it may be ranked as a four on the insect sting pain index, only four. For me, like I think three at this point, are it's better than that. number one. I'd say I'm one step closer to being stung by the bullet ant, but first, I'm gonna have to go up against the tarantula hawk. I have a feeling that that one is going to be bad. I'm Cavity Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Alright guys, we're going to end it right there. Thank you for watching. And yeah, uh, go watch the video. It's going to be in the link in the description. So thank you for watching. Peace out, money fam. And that was Kylie, Peer Kylie Peterson or something like that. Getting stung by the cow killer. Yeah, so... My thoughts is that's insane. I would never do that, but he's a strong dude and he did it, which is crazy. So thank you for watching. Peace out, money fam.